my name is Alex and welcome to my ASMR gaming channel. If you guys are new to this channel, I make soft spoken long play videos. And today we are going to be playing some Palia. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a cozy MMO and it just came out in open beta. So we are going to jump in and see how it is. This is the first time I've played, so we are going to be experiencing this together for the first time. I think I am going to skip any tutorials, cutscenes, as you guys probably want to jump straight to the gameplay. If you guys enjoy this video and want to see more just like it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I try to upload very consistently. Oh my dragon. Did did you just materialize from nowhere? I honestly have no idea. Right. You probably don't know any more about your situation than I do. It's just none of the other humans knew either. Which leaves me right back at square one. Other humans? Yep, you're not the first human I've seen in Palia. Just the first I've seen, you know appear in a giant cocoon of light. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper. He's been helping others like you get settled in. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here. And I am this close to figuring it out. I was so caught off guard, I realized I forgot to introduce myself, or explain why I'm here. The name's Gina, and I, I'm an apprentice scholar researching these old ruins. And this is where my research assistant, oh, and this here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I could get back to the grind. So you move around with WASD, look around with the mouse. And it is quite choppy. Let's see what Hecla has to say. Hello human. I know you must have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. Your presence heralds much change in the world of Palia. Who are you? I am Hecla. It is my duty to aid and protect the young scholar known as Gina. We have stumbled upon you during a routine excavation of the ruins of this ancient human city. 
This occurrence comes as a great surprise to young Gina. I, on the other hand, found it inevitable. You were bound to return one day. Why not today? Alright, so let's find Ashura in Kilnima. You can jump and sprint and you can climb on some stuff such as vines. Also jumping. Looks like the sprint is a toggle. And they have the stamina bar just like in Zelda. I like the I like the art style. And there's the intro. Very dramatic music. So I think I am going to mute the game audio. Is this the whole map? You're one of the very first players to join the world of Palia. Please enjoy this welcome gift. Windmill decoration. We got another player over here. So, if you guys have watched my channel before, I'm sure you already know that I like to avoid following the objectives um, this is on epic graphic settings I guess I thought it was on low or something because there's no shadows but it is still in beta, so let's give it some time. Kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft in a way. There was a game a while back that fell into some controversy because the developers started using the crowdsourced funds to invest in crypto or something like that. But um, they were working on a game that was basically RuneScape, but in this style of game. like over-the-shoulder WASD movement. Um, I played in the Alpha, I think. And I am completely blanking out on the name of the game. But I was very excited for it and I was very sad when I heard that the game was cancelled because of the drama. I didn't say what it said in the last one. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper at the Ormo's Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you can build yourself a tent. What do you say? You want to take in the great outdoors? I'm just glad I have a place to sleep. I would want someone to set me up with a place to sleep and something to eat if I materialized out of nowhere. 
Why would I not do the same to you? So let's see. To build a tent you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Odari, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Here, I've marked the spot on your map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Pretty cozy looking in. So, I just want to make a in-video poll. And... Just want to ask you guys... What game you would like to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments. Either, you know, Breath of the Wild, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Minecraft, Morpalia, RuneScape, any other game that I didn't mention. Just let me know in the comments. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Okay, so let's follow this road. Very cool animation here. So, let's keep going down this road. I heard that there is no combat in this game, so we'll see how that works out. Alright, so here we are, getting close, automatic door, and we are put in a cutscene. That is Hodari. Hmm, it's coming along. Not a trash left though. Oh hi. Hodari Pavo of Pavo Mining. What can I do for you? Am I in the right place? If you are currently without a home. And looking for one, then yeah, you are. It's the whole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites. Don't need you all buried in mud. In fact. This one's about ready for use if you want it. Just needs a bit more work. I see you've got an axe already. Here, take this pick too. I always, always get to have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear this debris, would you? Mining is hungry work, so you better take this too. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but you'll get more use out of it. Press and hold R to open the tool wheel. Hover over a tool and release or to equip it. Try gathering stone from the nearby rock debris. Okay. Let's get some rocks. I 
and then you just loop whatever is on the ground ancient thing it's a quest item also these are all your skills mining, gardening cooking fishing, hunting bug catching foraging and furniture making accessories accomplishments looks a lot like that Disney game Dream something Dream Valley or something like that as you can probably already tell I have pretty terrible memory just automatically loot everything. Not sure why. It just drops an item on the floor. Okay. Let's sap 
wood. Is that the type of wood that we need? I guess. Seems like it's the only type. What happens if we mine this? wood. Okay, well, it gives us sap wood. Oh, that is what we need. That's my bad. Okay, I think we're good. Looks like we do. Let's see. Yeah, let's just drop it there. Talk to only when you visit. Phew. Good. You haven't left yet. My mom, the Lalia, told me there was another new human in town. And here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Welcome to Kalima. And I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Oni and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. So, I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. I love getting mail. Good. Then I bet you'll be happy with what I have to give you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. Check your mail. Dear Alex, I have been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of mist birthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Anar, and I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. Hassan. To whom it may concern. City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use. During work hours, you can find me in Kilimo Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Alright, friendly, friendly guy. 
So, how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in that dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week. But all I ever seem to find are rocks. Well, I found this strange artifact. Oh wow, what does it do? No idea. Hmm. I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. Oh yeah, I almost forgot in all the excitement. I bought a present for you too. A Buck Scout's official belt. And a set of smoke bombs too. I am a member of Kinema's best and only bug catching cr club. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should you should talk to my dad, Bad Drew, to learn how to grow food. And Rath, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. Okay, so, where? I gotta store some stuff. Let's put away these mushrooms and butter. Um, and what else should we leave? I guess we can take everything else since we don't know if we are going to need it or not. Oh shoot, is there a queue time to go back into town? I guess there is, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back whenever this queue is over. Alright, so we are back. Now let's go talk to Gina about the strange artifact we found. I did not expect there to be a queue going back into town from the plot, but mm. Hey Alex, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in alright? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. Really? What is it? Oh wow, I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flow battery. These were the power sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. And you say you just found this under some old junk? Must be fate. I'm not really a believer in fate per se, but this is some coincidence. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know something. If you see a glowing mushroom, let me know. You can't exactly taste bioluminescence. But somehow, eating something that glows just makes it cooler. I want to explore further into the Phoenix Shrine, but the supports I have can only go so far. Maybe if I had some flint, I could expand my supports.
Oh, this will help me build the supports for the big site. Thanks. Okay. Now, let's go talk to Bandru. Or whoever this is. It looks like they're sleeping. Let's see. Maybe we can wake them up. Yep, it looks like we're gonna have to come back. Maybe they're upstairs. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna come back in the morning. So let's go talk to this person over here. Since they do not have the sleeping status. Oh, yes they do. Alright, we picked a bad time to go on adventuring, it looks like. Oh, looks like there's other quests we can grab while we are out here. Let's see. I had a bug net. Where's the kid? Oh, there he is. You're here. Awesome. You got your belt and your smoke bombs, right? Before we get started, you gotta take the bug scout's oath. Just repeat after me. I promise to all our nature and all its creatures to always lend others a helping hand and most importantly tell Oni if I see anything really cool. Awesome. Welcome to the Bug Scouts. Hmm, why don't you go try to catch something easy to start? Remember, Certain bugs will only come out at certain times. My family runs the farm down the road. We grow the biggest vegetables. My mom won blue ribbons at the fair like a million years in a row. Let's see what he wants. I've been trying to get a leaf hopper, but they keep jumping away. Alright, so, collect common blue butterfly, um, oh, Press and hold to start aiming. When an insect is hit by a small bomb, it will attempt to break away. If they fail, they become dazed and can be picked up off the ground. Rarer bugs have a higher chance to escape. Overwhelm them with additional catch attempts. You can keep trying as they flee. Increase your skill to unlock new types of smoke bombs and more powerful belts that increase your chance to daze an insect. So you gotta hit them dead on. 
I see. So, we gotta find a blue butterfly. And a night moth. And he wants a grasshopper. This is tough because you gotta hit them right on the spot. Alright. What's this? Flint. Oh, we got a beetle. Proud horned, stray beetle. with the bug hunting her. <laughs> this is kind of fun. It's like Pokemon. Alright, now let's go back and turn in this quest. Wait, that one's really shiny. item. Star quality bugs and fish can be placed in their own terrariums and aquariums. Select the item from the action bar and left click to place. Cool. Where's our friend? Hope he went to sleep. Gee. Boy am I glad to see you. Caught some bugs. Great job. I wish I had some kind of reward for you. Uh, how about this? Mom packed me in too big of lunch and I couldn't finish. That's not really a great reward, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suggest you check your mail later. But the real reward is the fun you had learning to catch bugs, am I right? I've been trying to catch one of these little fellas all day. How'd you know? Alright, cool. We got a rare bug, and... Finish the quest.
stables. Where are the stables? Is that it? Oh, they charge you. Never mind, I am much too broke for fast travel. What is this? Alexia Curry inventory is full. Extra items are stored in overflow for a limited time. Understand. Where's the overflow? Um. No idea. I think I gotta go back to my base. But to be honest, I'm scared that I'm going to have to wait in queue when I come back. I just hate waiting in queue. We gotta jump across this bridge. I don't think this is the whole map. There's no way. Map. I don't know. Maybe you'll not the, the rest of the map later. Once you go out of town or something. Who knows? 2 a.m. Let's see. They got a nice little shop here. Anybody? Anybody hanging around? No. Okay, how about we run back home? Three people ahead of me, and we're in. All right, let's throw some stuff. I'm going to place my rare beetle down. And let's cut some milk. What's this? What exactly do you do with Fifteen focus points. But what does that mean? It says increasing focus is as simple as eating. When you are an experience, some of your focus is used to create to increase the total experience earned. Your focus bonus is 20%. This can be increased by spending renown at shrines. Also, it's like a way to level up faster. It's like rest at XP. Focus increases experience gained from all sources and is generated by eating. Cool. 
a request up to four different items from fellow Pallians. Your request will be active for a short period of time. Help other Pallians by fulfilling requests. I don't think I need to request it. Wait, is that not clay that I just picked up? Oh, that's copper. Right, so... What's this? Place items to sell. Shops will buy the same sort of items as they sell, as long as it's business hours. Alright. Very interesting. Let's look around. Our lot. See what we find. No map. Shiny mushrooms. Shiny mushrooms everywhere. Anything in this pond? Some sort of ruin. Wonder if we will be able to go in there later. Or if this is somebody else's plot. check up here and that is going to be it for this video mines okay so I feel like we're gonna be unlocking different zones as we play but overall pretty cozy pretty chill vibes so far I like the bug catching and I am going to like collecting all the different bugs, stuff like that. I do enjoy collecting stuff and uh, the fact that you can see a in-game representation of rare bugs in your house, maybe fish, is pretty neat. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not yet subscribed, I would just like to remind you one more time to subscribe for more. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.